Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, Earth weather. We jump out to Mars, look back at Earth, and head home only to wind up on an airplane. Let's take the ride. We're starting over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding that while dark coronal holes turn across the Earth-facing disk, the pops and surface rage of the far-left northern sunspot should steal your attention. You may have noticed a few flashes of X-ray release. It is indeed generated by the trailing sunspot group of the two that appeared here at the end of the week. We're already seeing a rise in solar flaring up close to M-class range. That was a C9. There's a very good chance to see more today. Best chance in weeks, actually, because even while the previous grouping to the right remains on the disk, it has been silent. The new groupings, however, have taken over the top size and complexity. A nice spread can be seen between polarities in the leading group on the right, but not on the left. Blue and red are interacting. The lead negative umbra is breached. That's a Delta-class sunspot eyes open today. Solar wind is calming back down now slowly as the last coronal hole stream ends along with concerns of increased geomagnetic activity. Departing bulge of the coronal hole might clip us with a stream, but the next big one likely won't arrive until three days after the incoming holes face Earth. What do you say we jump out to Mars? This is Curiosity's latest meteor find, taken January 12th. They say it's iron nickel, and moreover, they say you can see burn marks where the rover's laser did chemical analysis. Quite odd, and also, I want one. Anyway, one of the orbiters at the red planet decided to peek back at Earth. Click that image, zoom in on the moon. Any thoughts on the reddish-brown smudge on the far side we can't see from the surface of Earth? Anyway, we all know that global warming caused record snowfall in the western states last week. Just seeing if you guys are awake. But how about the Sahara Desert? Now, some of you with a keen memory might be saying, wait, we didn't see that just a few weeks ago, did we? Well, yeah, you did. In fact, after more than 40 years without snow, they've taken two snowstorms in one month. The last one dropped a meter. That's absurd, and at least the serenity of the images is soothing. But good feelings gone as we come to the follow-up from the West Coast events. Rain, rain, and more snow. Flash floods and dangerous conditions. This is what happened to a campground inundated quickly and completely destroyed. Let's get a quick look out ahead to March with the Weather Channel's long-range forecast. Cold in the northwest, not so bad everywhere else. Hmm, I'm still hungry. Let's get some more news. The best climate papers are the ones that realize the world did not begin in 1880. Earth goes from glacial to interglacial period, and the last break from an ice age, like the one we're in now, was hotter, and had a higher sea level. These authors see this as a scary sign of our future, but they do forget the carbon emissions are vastly higher now than back then, and we needed the strongest solar activity of 9,000 years just to get here, which is definitively ending now. Next, we're going to a paper describing a much scarier radiation situation for airline passengers than I realized. On top of the increased exposure to space weather with altitude, the layers lack homogeneity and a plane can suddenly fly through a vastly higher pocket of radiation without changing altitude. Tobiska, Shea, Bailey, Yoon, all names you'll recognize from groundbreaking works covered in our new book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. The last decade of solar forcing breakthroughs, hundreds of papers, simplified and given a place in the bigger picture. Of course, we are in the last 75 days until observing the frontier. The third observers conference comes to Albuquerque in April. Who wants to predict earthquakes? It's Saturday, so just in a few hours, the website members will have a new podcast episode of Fly on the Wall. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.